You know that feeling of jelly legs? Maybe when you sprint or go for a fast ride up a hill? Well, athletes get that too. So what's going on inside your body to make your legs turn to jelly? When you exercise, you use your muscles and your muscles need fuel to work. When your muscles use this fuel, byproducts are produced, things like hydrogen ions. Too many hydrogen ions can be a problem because they will lower the pH of your body. This is usually measured in the blood. We can't function properly with such a high concentration of hydrogen ions because pH, like other variables, must fit into a very specific and narrow range for our body to work at its best. Too many hydrogen ions means the body becomes too acidic to do all its normal jobs. It's not all bad news though, because our body has ways to bring its pH back to normal. Luckily, our bodies have buffering capacity. Buffers are chemicals that resist changes to pH. Let me show you how they work. All these chemicals have universal indicator added to them. This is so we can see what's going to happen to the pH. I'm going to add universal indicator to this one here now, the buffer. I'm going to add a small amount of this acid to the water. As you can see, it changes colour almost instantly. But what do you think will happen if I add some of this acid to the buffer? As you can see, the colour of the buffer stays the same. Does the same thing happen if we add base? Let's give it a go. Just taking a few drops of base and adding it to the water. Again, the colour changes almost instantly. And now let's try the same with the buffer. Again, the buffer stays the same. So, you can see, buffers resist changes to pH. Now we're going to have a look at one of the important buffering systems in your body, the carbonic acid bicarbonate system. This helps to buffer pH changes in your blood. When our muscles work, they produce hydrogen ions. These react with bicarbonate ions that are already present in the blood. This reaction produces carbonic acid. The carbonic acid decomposes to form water and carbon dioxide. One of the ways we get rid of this is through our lungs. This buffer system helps to regulate our body pH, removing excess hydrogen ions and stopping our bodies from becoming too acidic. So what's all this got to do with jelly legs? Well, our bodies are normally good at keeping our pH constant. But if you exercise too vigorously, you'll use up your buffering reserves. And when your buffering capacity is overwhelmed, you might end up with jelly legs, and then you'll have to stop. Are you all right, Dad? How are your legs? A bit wobbly. So could you improve your performance by increasing your buffering capacity, maybe by taking bicarbonate supplements? No way, that stuff makes you sick. Athletes always want to improve their performance and luckily scientists are on the case. One way they're trying to do this is by increasing the buffering ability of the body. Kagan Ducker, a researcher at the University of Western Australia, is investigating how food supplements may help improve the buffering ability of the body. Hi Kagan, how are you going? Good thanks Anne, how are you? I'm great. So can you tell us about your research? Well, and I'm looking at a substance called beta-alanine, which is a type of protein that you'd find in meat and fish. And basically, I want to see if that will improve athletic performance. Ah, so why would athletes want to take beta-alanine? Well, both bicarbonate and beta-alanine may help to improve the buffering capacity of the body, which may stop it from getting so acidic during exercise. Oh, that's really cool. So how does beta-alanine work then? Well, basically, it's a protein that occurs naturally within the body. What happens is when you take beta-alanine, it travels down through to your muscles and actually helps to buffer the hydrogen ions that are created during exercise. Right. So are there any side effects of taking beta-alanine? 
Well, we haven't been studying it for very long, so we're not quite sure what the side effects might be. Mm -hmm. But basically, it just means that we have to monitor our athletes quite carefully when we're testing them. So, who benefits from taking beta alanine? It's a benefit for athletes who are exercising at top speed for anywhere between about 15 seconds and two minutes. Basically, this is the part where your body hasn't had a chance for the buffering systems to catch up to how fast you've started exercising. And this is the part where beta alanine can play a really important part. That's some really interesting research. I hope it goes well for you. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. No worries. Thanks for coming down. All right. See ya. Using our understanding of body chemistry and applying it to new areas such as food supplements, scientists are helping athletes to improve their performance. And hopefully it will mean no more jelly legs.